All right, 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 all right. Before I start this, huge shout out to Crispy Flakes for uh, reacting to my video. Gained hundreds of subscribers off of it. And uh, Crispy is actually the first... I just dropped my controller. Crispy was actually the first person to ever shout out my YouTube channel literally five years ago when he had like 7,000 subscribers and I had zero and he got me my first 30 or so. So yeah, shout out to him for always helping me out. Even if this one was unintentional, I don't know if he knew that it was my video. Now to the main event. In this video, we are going to be simulating the entire NBA career of Troy Dan. Six foot two. 190 pound rebounding guard he's 18 years old because i subtracted 14 years which is how long ago he made his channel from his 32 years of age which you know equals 18 and a 76 overall now look troy dan is not a 76 overall basically this is the weirdest player i've ever created because when it comes to troy dan to keep it plain and simple troy, troy dan might be worse than flight if you watch any troy dan irl basketball videos sure he might be a little more iq fundamental all that stuff to maybe be, actually be a capable player in like a five on five game where you could pass it to him and he'll pass it back to you on a give and go once every while but in terms of individual skill Troy, Troy Dan, he, he's atrocious now granted he is 32 years old which isn't that old really but I mean we'll, we'll just act like all of his skill dwindled away when he was 18 years old so here he is 18 years old but even with this um he, he really doesn't have a lot of skill all right so we're gonna break it down the stats that Troy Dan excels in are draw foul close shot free throw offensive rebound shot IQ pass vision hands you know I just told you he hit, he'd hit you on the back door cut once every while while shot contest acceleration strength hustle and lastly intangibles which is basically how they force you into thinking that you're my players in 99 overall when he's really like an 88 people really think pure sharpshooters with 99 three-point shots and 47 ball handling are that good yeah no bro they're duping you and for my personal favorite aspect of this troy dan player model his jump shot now i created this jump shot his jump shot in real life maybe honestly makes me think he's worse than he actually is because granted there's only like two irl basketball videos of troy dan i gave him the sean Mary and release mixed with a couple other things to spice it up and uh there you go that's pretty accurate compared to his jump shot i'll show it on the screen his nba player comparisons is ceiling iman shumpert floor iman shumpert by the way i have no clue if he's 190 pounds or not there's no record of it or anything so that's all i really got to show you now we're just gonna see where the hell is this guy gonna get drafted the nba draft all right so i had to restart the league and make it another attempt because for some reason troy went fully undrafted and then wasn't in the league altogether so uh, we'll try this again only difference is he's ranked 22nd now but yeah that's about it when is troy going to be drafted we are getting around the range we're at pick number 18 now we're starting in his range thunder got back-to-back -back picks are they uh, planning on troy oh they just traded the pick oh there he goes with the 26 pick in the 2020 nba draft the brooklyn nets select troy dam from canada say smith says it's going to be one of those trust the process moments because nobody knows anything about troy dam he goes to a team that's instantly going to be a contender and uh he was probably the lowest 77 overall ever drafted and 2k of course i know that there's been draft steals before i'm not stupid i've got nothing else to really preface this with let's just get into season number one all right for some reason he now has 17 badges instead of five but hey we're rocking with it i don't care it's not like it's really going to change much you think that ranger center is going to make his three point that's a 58 really go in season number one troy is the eighth man on the team by the way i'm like the flight chris and i can just let him do what he gotta do um we're 35 and 6 what in the living hell i didn't think we'd be this good troy is averaging 13 and 8 on 37 percent shooting but troy didn't make an all-star team one day well it's not gonna be this year Giannis won mvp so uh very surprisingly troy Dan did not win rookie of the year or sixth man of the year or coach of the year could he become a good defender in his heyday i have no clue um troy did not make an all rookie team even flight made an all rookie team now granted flight was forced into 30 minutes a game he averaged 12 and 8 a game on 37 percent shooting and uh yeah he's still firmly in the rotation well we're the first season so we could we get this ring thing out of the way because i feel like it usually you know dwells a while please don't lose to the wizard oh my god we almost did troy averaged 10 boards a game in a seven game series second round against but oh that's a that's a 4-0 sweep third round against six oh my god we, we just blew we, we blew a three we we, we blew a 3-0 lead if we had four more points in game four we would have been in the finals right now maybe even winning it who knows can we pay attention to troy's performance in this game he averaged basically the same exact numbers in the playoffs well shout out to the clippers shout out to vince staples nick young retired why am i looking at the draft lottery we, we were the best team in the league season number two troy is now an 80 overall he's still only 19 years old newsflash he's not an all-star bull bull won rookie of the year on the phoenix suns six man of the year went to vucevic somehow i guess mo Bamba reached the success of the song and we got the coach oh god it's kenny atkinson they never 
update the fired coaches in 2k it's just great you know it's really great it's not like you make billions of dollars off this game or anything no Troy did not make any of these teams but we're the first seed again he averaged 16 points and eight rebounds how is this team winning 62 games with him shooting 38 percent well first round against miami why why is miami the eighth seed well we won four to one against the heat second round against atlanta and we won four to one against them milwaukee's the sixth seed and we, we we're in the finals the nba finals against the la clippers first game is uh really close but we win the first jesus they almost came back we win the first game by one point probably because troy didn't only shot seven times second game and we win the second game as well it's funny i just kind of assumed that troy Dan was starting considering he averaged the third most points but no they put him off the bench still not like i'm, I'm recommending he should be starting no he's awful third game in la it's it's kind of close honestly okay we're jumping in well i jumped into game three and it was awful gameplay so i'm probably just not going to show it troy played good though and we lost so that makes sense fourth game in la and we win game four so we're up 3-1 now look this kd guy has to blow in a 3-1 troy Dan. oh my god troy had 18 8 and 6 but yeah this kd guy's blown a 3-1 before so we can't be too safe here we lost the next game troy was a uh, pretty awful oh there we go we did it you know this thing like where like nba players strive to like win championships because it's like the ultimate goal of a career yeah we just did that in year two with troy dan now granted he got drafted in the late first round so it was by a team that was good but you know troy dan spin jump wow that's disgusting that's disgusting that's gonna be their last shot of the season look at troy supporting kd like he's a fan i want a troy screenshot real quick can we get one of those no no just kenny atkinson great great just great troy put up 15 points 16 rebounds on 3 for 14 shooting in this game but it's cool because he has an nba championship now kd won finals mvp here's troy's full playoff stats are actually uh, not that bad although for the love of god he should probably stop attempting threes season number three. Oh, there wasn't any pictures of troy in the locker room because he probably wasn't allowed you know look at his age imagine 2k was actually that smart oh god he's starting his wait kyrie's gone kyrie why in the living hell did you just leave I would not expect anything less from Kyrie. He left for the Orlando Magic after winning a championship in Brooklyn. Then again, that's kind of exactly what he did with the Cavs. Could Troy Dan make an all-star team considering that he's like the second best player on the team now? No, the answer is no. He's averaging 17 points on 37% shooting. Safe to say he's a pivotal factor in why we're off to a successful 23 and 31 start. Rookie of the year is some guy named Richard Solomon and Bo Bo won sixth man of the year now. Troy Dan got snubbed for MIP, even though he didn't improve at all, he's awful. Well, we went from in the playoffs, winning a championship to uh just just yeah we're not in the playoffs at all i mean that's what happens when you go from kyrie irving to austin rivers so a very successful season number three mavs won a ring chris stops got a finals mvp troy averaged 17 points and nine rebounds on 37 percent shooting lebron retired but more importantly rudy gay what no you're you're joking you're 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 not even there's like no words i have no clue what the hell just happened but kyrie irving just re-signed with the nets and kevin durant is now gone kd went to the pistons shout out to crispy he's 83 overall on season number four a new starting small forward rick paxson can i break this down to you real quick this paxson guy is a 55 three-point shot we already know how incapable of doing anything troy dan is and then we have jared allen deandre jordan this might be the worst shooting starting five of all time it beats out the whole knicks starting five with alfred payton uh todd gibson and julius randall now uh, considering Kyrie is dribble man probably don't think troy's ever gonna make an all-star team again although he could leave after this year either if they just a don't like him or b don't like him because you're restricted free agent you know john morant won mvp averaging like 40 and 10 i probably should have mentioned we also have one of the best like rebounding lineups of all time for the record he's not making any all nba anything he's uh, lucky enough to be in the nba and we missed the playoffs again i think we had the same exact record he averaged 10.2 boards a game he averaged more than jared allen and deandre oh i guess they traded deandre next is uh winning although he already has a ring wow lonzo won a finals mvp lonzo would be on the spurs Kyrie fully displayed his bipolar polarness by doing that whole you know leaving and then coming back thing eric gordon retired i think i just hallucinated and thought kevin durant came back for a second i was about to just laugh really hard but i guess i was just expecting it oh my god they re-signed troy dan to a four-year 130 million dollar deal this contract's like a death wish for sean marks he even developed more hall of fame badges he would get the free throw badge you know when people like put like on twitter like how would you alert your followers that you just got kidnapped and like you got to say one thing that's uncharacteristic sean marks giving troy dan a 
max contract is the equivalent of that. Well, he's an 84 overall on season number five. I've never been more confused with a career sim, honestly. Honestly, it makes perfect sense considering that it's Troy Dan. By the way, I don't know if I'm coming off like this. I really doubt it, but I, I don't have any hate towards Troy Dan. He's just, he's just bad at basketball and really funny. So like I would expect things to go in a really funny way. Your newest 2023 all-star starter, Troy Dan. Yeah, you would have thought. We're not even in 2023. It's 2025. We just scored 78 points in an NBA basketball game. Jesus. And it was against the Hornets. Who was locking up? Devontae Graham? Terry Rozier? I mean, they released their only good defender, and that was Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And it's because he can't do anything else. I still can't believe they picked the man second overall. Like, everyone knew he was just a good defender, and that's it. Even he knew that. Armando Arm Armando Bacot. Yeah, um, newsflash. We didn't make the playoffs again. He didn't make any All-NBA teams. I mean, we're not surprised about the latter. Or either, actually. We replaced Kevin Durant with um William Floyd. Troy averaged another double-double on 40% shooting. Well, uh, a little bit off. Troy Dan is basically the best version of bad. Zion got a finals MVP and a championship. Shout out to the gumbo. Aaron Baines retired. Have we ever picked anybody good in the draft? Oh, great. We signed L for Payton. That'll solve all our problems. He's an 84 overall going into year number six. I'm saying his overall like I know he improved or not. I have no clue. I forget what his overall was, but I don't think he's improving at all, honestly. I think he's just stagnant at bad. Wow, we've lost 46. Oh, wow. We just won as I said that. Okay, okay. Shut me up then. We, we What the hell is going on? We went on a huge winning streak, a huge losing streak, and another huge losing streak. And another winning... Bro, what is this? This is like Kyrie's bipolar kicking in. Lonzo made an all-star team. Do we care? No, not really. But I probably should mention things like Lonzo being good, considering that Troy loves Lonzo. So yeah, actually, we do kind of care. Are we going to make the playoffs? We're, uh, no, we're going to win 38 games again, aren't we? All right, 39. Great improvement. Six man of the year, LaMelo Ball. That doesn't make sense. Luka won an MVP. Kyrie made an all-NBA team. Thankfully, he didn't in a losing effort. Oh, there he goes. He shot over 40% and averaged 18 and 10 once again. He'll never shoot threes, though. He's never going to be good at it. Oh, he's actually not a bad mid range shooter anymore, but yeah, his three is still a 65. Cavs won a ring. Shout out to RJ Hampton. Isn't this a guy that's getting like shaked and baked by LaMelo in the NBL? Why'd I say shaked and baked? I don't think I've ever said that in my life. Mike Muscala retired. I wonder if Kyrie's gonna bend in Troy Dan any day now. It's only a matter of time. I wonder what his loyalty's on. No, Kyrie's still here. Well, going into year number seven, he's an 85 overall. Still just Troy and Kyrie, aka just Kyrie. Ah, yes, Dave Armstrong, the savior of the team. This might be the worst team. Okay, well, no, because we have Elver Payton, of course. We're still good. All-star captain announced. Imagine one year Troy Dan was just randomly an all-star captain. How did Bam Adebayo just become so good all of a sudden? Like, I know he was, like, good, but, like, now he's just, like, good, you know? So, Luka's just the best player in the league. Now, usually Giannis gets his fair share of MVPs, but, uh, yeah, no. Roman Kolomak. Most improved player went to, like, a young Jeff Bezos. I honestly have no clue what young Jeff Bezos looks like. Breaking news, uh, he didn't make an all-NBA team. His only award history is a champion, which is probably good enough. He's basically Scalabrini, honestly. Jabari Park is here, but it doesn't matter. Maybe he made us worse because we won 31 games and missed the playoffs again. Troy basically did his Troy thing at this point. Such a weird player. Luka got a ring. Is Kyrie gonna finally leave? Oh, Kyrie re-signed and he's old now. In the current day, it feels like Kyrie's been in the league for like 15 years, but he's still only like 27. It's kind of weird. Well, on to year number eight, he can leave after this year. Ah, uh, yes, eight and 22. That's a pristine record right there. You know, I was gonna update on Lonzo's all-star appearances again, but I did a whole Lonzo Ball career simulation, so you could just go watch that, all right? I can't believe we won the championship and have not made the playoffs any years since. Bull Bulls, the sixth man of the year on a new team. He probably just, what did they like, banish him to the bench? Guy's an 89 overall. I think Luka's won every MVP. Yeah, 27 wins isn't good. Troy Dan's stats are actually kind of good now, though. Granted, he can't shoot the three ball and he's a six foot two shooting guard, but nonetheless, remember when Avery Bradley led that Celtics team in rebounding like three years ago? It's basically what Troy Dan is. Six foot two shooting guard. You know, he fits the bill. Alec Burks retired. Wait, they just describe Alec Burks as a scoring machine? All right, sure. Why not, man? That's like putting on your resume that you've done all the community service and you haven't ever stepped out of your door i thought Kyrie left no he's just bad troy's still here chilling year number nine and jared allen's the best player on the team now so that's just great oh my god look at this guy oh great we got cj mccollum with the same rating he had in 2k13 oh uh, was he in 2k13 all-star captain troy dan in a different universe mikey williams put up the john morant numbers from a few years ago bowl bowl is the greatest six man of all time and we let some guy named chester win most improved player i keep mentioning the most improved player like troy's ever gonna win it he missed the playoffs for what the eighth straight year and we even have lori markin now somehow oh he must have traded uh the the big afro guy for him why well, does forget jared allen's name for a second maybe just maybe we sucked because lori markin and shot worse than troy dan is that even possible kobe white won finals mvp and troy dan is now the best player on the team well on season number 10 will this finally be the year where we reach success because uh troy dan's the number one option kind of now really apologize for the missing the playoffs is getting old but um 
um, what the hell am I supposed to do about this? In his increased role, a uh, very big news here, um, Troy Dan is still not an all-star. Mikey Williams, MVP again. Rookie of the year with some guy named Brevin. Jimmy Wright Foreman. Why do you spell Jimmy with an IE? Why do you, why do you just name himself Jimmy? Wait, he didn't name himself. He's a kid. Wait, he's not a kid. He's an adult. His parents named him. What the hell am I saying? Skip Bayless, all rookie first team. Troy averaged 16 points. In his quote-unquote increased role, Troy averaged 16 points on 44% shooting, which is actually not that bad, but it's not that exciting either when you win 20 games and miss the playoffs again. He can leave this year, though. James Wiseman won finals MVP. Honestly, thought Troy didn't expire, but um, he has one more year left after this with a player option, so I doubt he's going to decline that. Speaking of declining, he's declining in overall. And Kyrie's gone, and Markel Fultz is here, and guess what? He's declining too. Oh, wait. Kyrie's just not good. Kyrie's still here. He's just on the bench. Season number 11. Bronny got one of those MVP things. Look, he's averaging like 10 boards every year, but his teams are awful. Like, we've been awful. We haven't picked one good player ever. We've been awful for 86 straight years. Lakers won another ring. Well, actually, I don't think they won a ring before yet. Will Troy Dan finally leave this god-awful franchise? He got one more year left because he accepted his player option. Miles Turner's here. That's really gonna help. We kind of just keep signing old regressing guys just to keep regressing and being old as like a whole unit. Season number 12. 12 wins again. It's been, what, 10 straight years? And we're about to just not even win 20 games, huh? Jamirio Schumacher, the defensive player of the year. I think we know what the Troy Dan numbers look like by now, but he actually led the team in points this year, which is that bad. Karis LeVert retired. He used to be back on this team when we were good, what, like 10 years ago? Is Troy Dan finally going to leave the Brooklyn Nets? Yes, he finally did it. Wait, uh, did we just did I see Jason Tatum? Uh, it's Jalen Tatum, of course. My bad. Now, look, they might have Jaron Jackson now, but let's be honest. The Nets were cursed at this point. We needed a new team to potentially win a ring on these last few years. Where the hell is it going to be? The Orlando Magic, a team we have a lot of history with, considering when Kyrie left and then came back and basically doomed this franchise forever. The best part is only signed a one-year deal. Oh, this team isn't that bad. He's actually, like, barely even a rotational player on this team, so uh, it's actually pretty good. Is this going to be another championship year? I know that's the only accolades we're getting at this point, so um, we're got, we got to get him while we can. Troy Dan is just barely in the rotation as the 10th man. I guess that's better than being the best player on the Brooklyn Nets. Well, on to season number 13. I'm finally going to do it. I'm finally not going to check the All-Star team. There you go. Because, uh, yeah, that ship has sailed. We made the playoffs. Finally. An 11-year drought, and we finally made it back. Played in every game, although he was on the fringe of the rotation, and uh, his numbers were, uh, well, he adapted well to the rotation role you know first round against charlotte and we lost 42 he was actually all right he even shot 43 percent from three. Oh, i was looking at the wrong player wow that's funny well the raptors won another ring and Dar darius garland's like a finals mvp in every single video deandre hunter retired um troy is gone again he's on the run dan troy Dan is now in the atlanta hawks he signed another one-year deal he's really trying to bandwagon onto teams that can win championships at this point but it's not working yeah this team's okay it's not that good troy's at 82 we're going to year number 14 we do have Shea, which makes things more enjoyable because he's Shea and he's just like the greatest player of all time. I checked the all-star team self-conscious, uh, self, self-consciously, no, subconsciously stupid. That sounded mean. I'm sorry, myself. Hashtag self-love. David Fizdale won another coach of the year. I told you last video, this guy can win 87 games and he still doesn't deserve it. Oh, we're the fifth seed. That's actually not that bad. Troy averaged very Troy-ish stats. First round against Washington and we're down 3-2. I'm scared. I'm barely even saying, okay, 3-3 three, three, and we won game seven. That's cool. Second round against milwaukee 2-2 two, two. oh my god we're in the conference finals against the seventh seeded pacers 3-1 we are in the nba finals now we need to finish off the job against i think cole anthony's on the lakers oh my god look at this super team they have 395s we lost no we can't actually win this we are up three to two we can actually win another championship right now and it's not gonna be in this game considering we're down 80 points right now so uh we're going to game seven they have Lamelo ball cole anthony and whoever the hell this guy is but but we're go wait it was 3-3 oh my god i'm so stupid i really thought that we were up 3-2 but it's really 4-2 wasn't that swell troy was uh horrible but it's cool because uh well it's not cool we lost the finals amari spellman retired moment of silence for amari spellman
Thank you very much. Uh, we're, we left the hall. I'm saying we like I'm Troy Dan. And he's on the Suns now. Great. He, he joined him on a one-year contract again. Troy's on the Suns now and just took a huge dip in his overall. He's a 78 now. Going into year number 15. I mean, sure, we got two. Nine. Actually, this seems kind of good. Troy is no longer in the rotation. Just look at this All-NBA first team. Dave Wells, Franklin Levins, Patrick with no K. Yeah, we missed the playoffs even with this team. And like I said it before the season, you know, Troy didn't really play. Troy played in two two games and average one point the lakers won back to back zubak retired troy dan is no longer on an nba team 33 years old 76 overall and couldn't get a contract are we surprised no not really oh we'll simulate to like near the end of the season and see if he ever gets a contract he never got a contract season has concluded and some guy named eugene won finals mvp so that's how we know it's over so is this officially gonna do it yup after 15 years pro at 34 years old the six foot two round mound of rebound troy dan has called it quits why did i say round mound he's only 190. he averaged about 16 points nine rebounds 40 percent from the field which is better than i thought it'd end out 24 from downtown incredible free throw shooter though about 18,000 points 10,000 rebounds he missed under a hundred free throws in his whole career 433 double doubles and seven triple doubles he had a negative 941 plus minus his career high points was 40 which is uh wow he made seven threes in a game somehow had the audacity to shoot 30 times in a game 25 rebounds in a game is pretty good when you're six foot two might be the most ever by a player that short still has the hall of fame free throw badge he had the 66th most rebounds in nba history he had more rebounds than joel Embiid, lamarcus aldridge zach randolph and sean marion who we designed his jump shot after i think he had the highest free throw percentage ever and of course on top of all that his only accolade his one and only one time nba champion a very rough career sim considering how unsuccessful he was for like 26 years but nonetheless did end up a champion early on which a lot of these guys do not achieve in their whole career and in shocking fashion he didn't make the hall of fame so that is gonna do it thank you for watching you can like and subscribe to the channel if you care my channel at all let me know who you want to see next and i am out Cut.